So, quick background. Um, police department reached out to me um, to uh, with an idea of wanting to do some more things in the community to build some great relationships, and that kind of conversation came out of my desire to kind of to um, have more people from our community, you know, serve on our police department. And they had an idea of doing uh, like a basketball uh, clinic of, of some sort. Now, I'm just not sure you guys know, I know nothing about basketball. Um, don't play, ain't no good, couldn't tell you name any of the positions. So I had to reach out to somebody I knew that knew something about basketball and connected me with Coach Cooper. And Coach Cooper, city manager, and the police department came together. Uh, it was actually two officers specifically, uh, Sergeant Kitty Craig and, and Detective Sean Kemp. Uh, came together with a coach and put together a basketball clinic and I wanted to um, thank Coach Cooper, uh, his organization staff for um, your contribution and really making it happen. They ran an entire kind of academy over the course of a week and had uh, some games on Saturday and I showed up and waved and all that stuff. But I understand it was, it was just great participation. I think it was about 80 to 90 kids that, that participated and so I'm hoping we can do that more often. But I did want to Thank you and present you some recognition and um, and you know hope my, my council colleagues would uh, you know join us for a picture and I also believe that the city manager has um, put together like a quick video um, of you know of kind of that experience. So, would you like to view the video before photos or uh, would you like that? In? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, we have Coach Cooper. You know, I don't know if you want to say a couple words and um, you definitely view the video. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say <clears throat> thank you for giving, uh, being gracious enough to give me the opportunity to even uh, partner with you guys on this. Uh, the kids were great. They, they were um, excited about uh, the idea of, um, I, one of the officers said, I'd rather chase them around the court than to chase them up around the city. And, um, and I understood that. You know, I grew up in an environment where basketball took me away from all of the different distractions. And I went on to play professionally overseas and, and at college basketball and uh, got to see the whole world. You know, I spent 10 years just living in Europe and, and seeing a lot of things. And um, I just think it's an opportunity to give back to the, to the young kids. And I appreciate you and Bernard and everyone that was involved in bringing us down, so. Awesome. Yeah, we're gonna have to the video. Welcome back. The Hawthorne Police Department is always coming up with ways to build strong relationships with the community. Reporter Kayla Moeller headed to the Bay Agelin Sports Center to check out their latest gig. Well, it looks like these athletes have a lot to teach me, so let's take a look at the first annual basketball academy. Initiated by Hawthorne's Mayor Pro Tem, L. David Patterson, this is a week-long camp designed for young athletes to hone in their skills while building relationships. Here you're seeing uh, a basketball academy for youth ages 12 to 17 as an effort to kind of integrate and build camaraderie between the neighborhood and the police officers. To be honest, the best thing that I see is when I get to look around, and I see other officers here from the department as well that are working with the kids and talking to the kids and making sure that the kids feel comfortable. These athletes are learning fundamentals with Coach Eric Cooper Sr. along with volunteer coaches. We focus on fundamental stuff. You know, a lot of times kids want to learn the, the Steph Curry, step back, all the, the, but first of all, Steph Curry learned how to do fundamentals. And so we do passing, shooting, dribbling, defense. The Hawthorne Police Officers Association played a huge role in making this free for the kids to participate. The backbone of this uh, making it happen was the uh, Hawthorne Police Officers Association. They're contributing the funds to buy equipment, purchase shirts, food for the kids, really make this event go. Oh, my goal is, is uh, synchronized with the police department. The whole purpose of us being here is one of the policemen told me, he said, well, I'd rather chase the kids around on the basketball court than to chase them around in the community later on. And I said, okay, I, I get that. The kids participating range from beginners to more experienced. And their favorite part of the camp thus far? I know a lot of people here, so I'm having fun. 
and it's uh it's just a good environment. It's a lot of coaches, and they're teaching us, and we and just being in the gym, honestly. But it's not all fun and games. Coach Cooper Sr. wants his athletes to understand the balance between discipline and having a good time. The message is that uh, you have to learn how to, to get instruction from authority figures and to learn how to prosper in that environment. And so we give them a certain amount of instruction, a certain amount of discipline, and then they thrive in it and they get to do the things that they want to do. And that's kind of what life is like. While this was the first Hawthorne PD Basketball Academy, they hope to do it annually for many years to come. For HCTV, I'm Kayla Muller. To keep up with what else the PD is doing with the community, check out their Instagram at Hawthorne Police. And I also want to thank the staff, though, for all, all the their hard work and putting this together. I understand you know, Jerry, the city manager, and his staff over at the Parks and Rec Department, you know, obviously did all the, the a lot of the heavy lifting to make sure this was possible. So I want to thank you guys for that as well. We have Coach, Coach Cooper, I don't know if you brought brought any of your, your um, anybody from your staff with you or not, but please come on down and let's take a picture. Okay, yeah. my, my son actually helped out. He's playing pro ball in, in um, Ireland, so he cannot be here. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. 